In ArcGIS Server 10, we have added additional capabilities to map services so ArcGIS desktop users can edit them right from ArcMap. Let's have a look at what the user experience for a desktop user will be. In this map document in ArcMap, I have loaded two layers. These two layers are actually map services, both of them. The base map is a map service with imagery. And this Save the Bay map service is displaying field observations. You can clearly tell that these are map services because if you open the properties, you'll see that they are connecting through an internet connection to an ArcGIS server service. This is a special map service because we have enabled feature access capabilities on it so people can edit over the internet. In fact, if I right click on the map service layer, I have a new option that says edit features. If you click on it, what ArcMap is going to do is to basically download all the features within the extent in this map service and create a local replica geodatabase. It will be added to the table of contents, as you can see here. In my case, and by default, the geodatabase replica is actually a file geodatabase, and, and it will be stored, as you can see in the data source here, in your local machine. However, you can configure ArcGIS so this geodatabase replica is managed by your enterprise geodatabase in SQL Server, Postgres, Oracle, and so on. Note that the map service from which we extracted the features is still in my table of contents, but it has been automatically turned off so you can look at the actual local data that is stored in your machine. Now at this point you can start editing. This is standard ArcGIS desktop editing experience. I'm going to delete a couple of features, create a new one over here, move a feature to the side, change its attributes. You will notice that all the subtypes and domains from the geodatabase are actually honored here. So this information is carried over from the map service. And now we are going to stop editing. All these changes, as you can imagine, are being stored in the local geodatabase. What you want to do is to synchronize the changes in the local replica with the map service. To do that, you will simply right-click on your local replica and go back to Edit Features, in this case to select Synchronize Local Edits with Server. Let's go ahead. What happens here is that all the changes you made will be sent to the map service as an update gram. To make sure that the changes actually took effect in the map service, you simply need to turn off the local replica and turn on the map service. So you can see that all the changes we made can be now be seen in the map service. So that essentially means that we actually edited the geodatabase over the internet right from our map. Now you will wonder how you can enable these capabilities and that's what we are going to see in the next few minutes. We are first going to author a map service with the editing capabilities enabled. So I logged into my ArcGIS server machine and in it I have a map document with the data that I want users to edit. It's important to note that all this information is stored in an ArcSD geodatabase. You don't need to version your data, but it's important that you register every layer in your ArcSD database. At that point, you are pretty much ready. Just make sure that the information is editable and make sure that you have feature templates enabled, as I do. Use the Map Service Publishing toolbar to create a new map service. There is an important step in this process that you need to be aware of. Check the feature access capability. This is new in ArcGIS Server 10, and this is actually what enables your services to be editable over the internet. Click Next and Finish to create your service. OK, here it is. This is my map service. Now you will notice if I go to the service properties that the feature access capability is enabled for queries and for editing. At this point, any ArcGIS desktop user can connect to your ArcGIS server service. Open the catalog window and add a new connection to ArcGIS server. That's the URL of my server. And now the map service is going to be displayed here. Simply drag and drop. 
and now you are ready to go and say edit features create local copy for editing here you know the rest of the story now let me just point out that if i right click on this service layer i don't see the edit features option because the feature service capability is not enabled on it well i hope this was informative to you